I'm always motivated. I'm always trying to work my tail off and and, and try to do everything, do all the small things that I can. You know, my, my talent's going to limit me in, in some aspects. You know, I don't hit the ball 350 yards and, yeah. and do all those things these guys do now. But um, I, I've got to do everything else really, really well to, to keep keep my game at the highest level. And that's thinking well, being smart about how I practice, being prepared, yeah. having a great attitude. Small stuff like that makes a big difference in the, in the grand scheme of things. And, and uh, so I just try to keep doing that all the time and, and, and make sure I keep my, my head on straight and, and, and not try to play Jason Day kind of golf. You know, yeah, I need right. to play Brand Snedeker kind of golf <laughs> or Steve Stricker kind of golf. Those are the kind of guys I look after. Mm. Uh, the last five years, I've had two kids and I've won seven times. Right. You know, so it's been great because I used to be a guy that would live and die by my golf. You know, yeah. I was 100%. Uh, would bring it home from the golf course, would, would, would let it eat me up. You know, now I'm not. My kids don't care if I shoot 80 or 60. And, and so when I get home, they want to play and, and completely leave it at the golf course now. And so it kind of gives me better perspective, makes me realize that I, I need to, when I'm working, I'm working, but when I'm off, I'm off. And, and, and get some rest and have some fun and do whatever it is that, that I need to do to spend time with my kids. So it's been, it's been a great kind of release for me to have a family. When you're a rookie or you're new at something, you don't you don't know what's important until until you until you go through some tough times, until you figure out what works, what doesn't work. Um, you know, I, I realize now kind of how to practice, how to prepare, <laughs> how, how to travel, how, how to be rested, how to um, get the most out of my game, what's important, what's not. You know, um, and, and and how to handle pressure, how to handle being a Sunday and, and knowing that I'm gonna have to do some special stuff on Sunday, and, and how do I do that? You know, and yeah. so. Just kind of figuring out those little little idiosyncrasies, learning a lot along the way, picking up stuff from guys, not being afraid to say, man, how, how did you handle this? Or, or what were you yep. thinking when this kind of stuff happened? And being a good listener and, the, and that kind of stuff. And, and so, I mean, you know, 10 years on tour, I'm still learning stuff all the time. Yeah. You know, I mean, I learned a ton last week with the Ryder Cup from guys. And so, um, you're, you're never too old out here to, 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 to learn something. And I feel like I'm trying to keep doing that. Probably not as glamorous as everybody thinks it is. You know, yeah. everybody has these grand ideas of what it's really like. You know, you've been there, you've seen it. There's a lot of hotel rooms, a lot of movies by yourself, a lot of room service, a lot of you know doing your laundry, that kind of stuff. But I mean, still at the end of the day, it's the luckiest guy in the world to do what I do for a living. Yep. You know, it, it's uh, I get to go to some of the most unbelievable places, places like this, play golf for a living. Um, you know, do what I love and, and, and get paid doing it. So, I mean, it's, it's unbelievable. And probably the thing that we get most, you know, the thing I love more than anything else is the competition. It's yeah, playing against right. the best players in the world, knowing that when I do win a tournament or if I, you know, do, do play well, I know I would do some of the best fields in golf. And, and that, that's what I love doing. I, I love that competition.